Hello and welcome back. Again, my name is Dr. Suzanne Van Hove and in this module we're going to talk about the foundation exam. Now, the foundation exam is a typical exam within the idle community. It's 40 multiple choice questions. It is closed book. The passing score is 65%, which means you need to get 26 questions out of the 40 correct. History has shown us that this is about a 90% global, globally passed exam, okay? So you need to study, but at the same time, try not to stress too much about taking another exam or taking an exam for the first time in a long time. If you've paid attention and if you've done your due diligence, you will not have an issue with this exam. Those of you that have to complete the exam in a non-native language, um, the Examination Institute has given you an extra 15 minutes, so you have 75 minutes in total to complete the exam. Within your downloaded materials, we also have some hints and tips around taking multiple choice exams or taking this foundation exam. I encourage you to review those if it's been a while, or just to review them to say, oh, maybe I can learn something that will help me when I take the exam. Now, the structure of the exam, again, multiple choice, one correct answer. The types of questions that you will see, typical multiple choice, um, where that you may have uh, one correct answer. You might have a list where you have to say, oh, two of the items are correct. Um, very straightforward. The sample exams will prepare you well for the actual live exam. The content that you have to know, the questions by objectives, I've just put them up on the slide. You would see the same information on the syllabus. If you read the syllabus, the same information is there. I want to point out two things to you. I'm not going to read you this list. The first one that I want to point out to you is this one. There are three questions around the service value system and the service value chain. So we have one question on the service value system, two questions around the service value chain. So even though we're going to spend a lot of time talking about it because it is the key information or the key foundation for Idle 4, it is not heavily tested. This test is about uh, knowing fact. It's being able to recall a definition. It's not about the ability to apply anything, and that's what we're going to start looking at when we get to that next level of um, instruction and exam, that you're going to have to be able to apply. The second thing that I want to point out is the last two bullets. 24 questions out of the 40, so you can see here, 24 questions out of the, la uh, out of the 40 are around the 15 idle practices that you must know. 15 purpose statements and some key terms, and then seven of those 15 idle practices, you have a few more bits of information that you have to retain. So it is truly around the practices, and it is around the concepts, the basic concepts, so that you understand the overall position of idle four.